The camera's focusing on you and not on me. But I'm the star. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> Come take a thumbnail. Look like you love me. Oh, I do. Come give me a you, big fat hug. You see how I'm sitting here, love? Love. Love. <laughs> My knees on the thing and. <laughs> love, close your knees. Why is your leg wide open? Sit to the side. I want to sit like this. <laughs> <laughs> here, why don't you be giving me a kiss on the cheek? On the cheek. <laughs> Turn off the air. Oh no. Yeah. Wearing your hoodie, love. This has got to be five minutes. Ready? Let's start over. Why? I have to sneeze. Love. I couldn't talk. What do I do during all of this? <laughs> just wait until <laughs> I give you your cue to go. And then say what? Hello. Just be yourself. Because everybody else is taken. <laughs> There's a lot of single people in the world. <laughs> no, everybody else is taken that you can't be. Oh. <laughs> You're such a fool. <laughs> Hello my shiny face. Hello my besties. As you can see, I am not here alone today. Drum roll please. Giant! Hello. And then say what? Hello. Hello. Giant and I have been together for six years. We just had not posted it on these internets yet. Because my stuff is all about books and I never really knew how to introduce my personal life in here without like overdoing it. So we just kind of kept it private. But more recently we were like, let's fucking do this. Two yards. <laughs> do I look at the the picture or do I look at the camera? Look at the camera. I've been looking at the picture this entire time. Yeah, but if you look. notice. <laughs> So now I'm officially kind of starting to put some more personal stuff on here. So let me know if there's any more videos you want with Giant or maybe with my best friend as well. She's open to it too. Let me know. So his name's not actually Giant. It's Giancarlo, but I call him Giant. He's also 6'3". <laughs> that's it. That's all there is to know about Giant. Yeah, Giancarlo and I'm 6'3". Yeah. And that's it. That's my life. And he's a lawyer. I have here 25 books that I picked from my bookshelf that I have not read yet, that I've been having my eye on, that I've been wanting to read. And I'm going to let him choose 10 books for my May TBR. So I am not choosing my May TBR this month. And then at the end of the month, we'll still do the fails where I come over here and tell you guys which ones I read or not. And maybe he'll be there for that too. We'll see. Let's do this. Mine and his like trope, in case you're wondering, it's grumpy sunshine to the public. Like I'm sunshine and he's grumpy, but then in private, it's reverse grumpy sunshine. Cause then I'll be grumpy and he'll be sunshine. It's the weirdest. She can't stand me in private. <laughs> she's grumpy all the time. So start with these. I know you've been working on these. I don't know what they're about, but I know you've been working on them. So here, you can finish them. These are good because you guys know that I need to finish these. <laughs> maybe. It's honestly worse. This is a maybe? Yeah. Oh, Dance of Thieves. Okay, I've been wanting to read this one. These count as one. You know, Love. so I could pick nine more. Love and other flight delays. Oh my God, you know what I just noticed? Like I usually don't film with other people, so I'm always looking straight. And right now, because I'm filming with you, I'm looking this way. They're getting my side profile. I don't like that. I want to put my chair up because you look way taller than me. Nothing no. to see here. This is a no. Why? Confuse me. What do you mean? It feels like, are there three different couples in this one book? The love connection, the misconnection, the sweetest connection. Oh my God, yeah, it's three couples in one. Oh my God, that's so fun. Maybe in June. It kind of sounds like, it kind of sounds like, uh... It <laughs> <laughs> it's done. It's done. No. Look in last resort. You have to have a reason. You can't just say no. It didn't interest me. I read them next month. I'm not, you're not throwing them away <laughs> if, you don't, if I don't pick them. This is American Queen. Oh, you opened this one. No. <sighs> <laughs> I really wanted to read that. What do you mean no? Why? Seems a little too serious. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not... <laughs> It's her and the president. Yeah. How is that serious? Because it's the president. Just don't want me to have a good time. The very secret society of irregular witches. Yes. That was unexpected. Why? Her name is Mika Moon. Uh-huh. And it reminds me of that book I read as a kid. Like the, the little hypnotist. I don't know what you're talking about. This TV is going to be a mess. She's Brazilian. Yes. Nice. This one sounds funny. And the movie, I love the movie Wedding Crashers, so. <laughs> Maybe, it's not it's the same. When Gracie met the grump. Let's believe I'm still bejeweled when I walk in the room. I can still make the whole yes. place sit. It's a superhero. So where on this life? Oh, I've been meaning to read that one for a really long time. Rose loves that book. No. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. It kind of just lost me. Like I felt like midway reading it. I was like, I don't want to read it anymore. Okay. I'm sorry, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, these are by the same author, so you can choose one of them. Maybe we'll make him choose a why choose for me to choose <laughs> to maybe read it. Pick this one. 
You do? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Interesting. Why? Mainly it's shorter, so I think you have a better chance of finishing it. True. Well, I would finish Nanny for the Neighbors if I started it. Yeah, but maybe you would have finished something else and you could read more books. Springtide? I think that's like a vacation book. It's giving like summer. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like reading cursive, so it annoyed me. <laughs> as, soon as, I it, so... as soon as I looked at it, I was like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know he was forbidden until after our one night stand. What? <laughs> trying to read it. <laughs> You literally hate me. They're gonna think you hate me. I promise Cheyenne doesn't hate me. Promise them you don't hate me. Promise. Maybe. Okay. Ooh! This is a new fantasy book called Fourth Wing. I just received it. It looks good though. So yes, this one. It's a cool map. Okay, so these choose one or the other because it's the same author. Mm -hmm. And this is the first book in one of her series. It's a trilogy. And this is the first book in another one of her series. The Serpent and the Wings of Night. Yeah. And Daughter of No Words. Giant's really overthinking this. He thinks you guys are gonna hate him. I don't. <laughs> They're gonna love me. <laughs> so this one's about vampires. This is apparently about vampires. This is the first time hearing of it. Pick this one. Okay. Daughter of No Words. Worlds. <laughs> Yeah, worlds. Is it world? You've been saying words? <laughs> and see the, the bottom of the elves. <laughs> Dot of no words. <laughs> Vicious. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I told her to read that. He's been wanting me to ago. he's been wanting me to read this book for so long and I don't even know why. No. <laughs> Jeez. But Melanie Harlow, why? No, I don't like the dude staring at me. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it either. I don't like the covers. I don't like man on See, he doesn't like men in covers either. Neither do I. I'm not just a fan. People. Just It's just a giant portrait of someone. It's weird. Yeah. We have a book over there that's like a lady staring at the sky. What? By Reed. Who's Reed, the author? Taylor Jenkins Reed? Oh, that's Carrie Soto doesn't yes. fail. Or Carrie, Carrie Soto... Something. Something like... Returns. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh yeah, Carrie Soto returns. No! Rises. <laughs> no, Carrie Soto's back! <laughs> Carrie... <laughs> returns! <laughs> Yeah, no, that cover is beautiful though. I don't like it. Okay. Our scorching summer. Say so maybe. This one. You actually have a decent amount of maybes too. Praise. That's becoming a movie. No. <laughs> seems like the submissive thing seems like that other movie. Fifty Shades? Yeah. For all the good girls. I want to be a good girl too. Okay, so we're in June. <laughs> Kind of worth killing. Oh, okay, so look. This is a thriller. Yeah, this. Okay, wait. I have a couple thrillers in here. This sounds really cool. It's literally like this. This guy goes on a plane, and then on the flight, he's telling this woman about his life, and he admits to her that he wants to kill his wife. And then the woman's like, "I'll help you." Maybe. Love. <laughs> I more, want that one. There's more thrillers. I'll, I'll pick one, but. Okay. Oh, I this. Read all of them. Rock paper scissors. This is the one that everybody's been telling me to read. This one apparently, like, they go on vacation. This married couple goes on vacation, and they like uncover secrets about each other or shit happens in that vacation. I don't really know, actually. It's a weekend, and apparently, like, makes or breaks them. I'll move this to no. I don't know. Say yes to this one. The Predator. This is Mafia. It's the first book in the Mafia series called Dark Verse, and it's like the rival Mafia families. Say yes to this one because I know you like Mafia stuff. I'll say yes to this one because I know you like the Mafia. <laughs> Two other thrillers are the final ones. Wrong place, wrong time. And then my lovely wife. My lovely wife is like, they apparently, this married couple kills people together. And then wrong place, wrong time. It's this mom like sees her son killing somebody in front of her house. And then every single morning she wakes up, it's the day before. I'm gonna pick one of them. I'm not gonna pick both. Okay. I'll pick this one. This one sounds more interesting. Yeah, it does. Can I put the kind worth killing on here? I really wanted to read it. Which one? The kind worth killing. No. So these are all yeses. We're keeping them all? Yeah. Or do you want to take one out? Mm. Because you have 11, and I only gave you 10. You're breaking the rules. No, that's fine. Okay. These are all the books I will be reading this month. We will see. Check back with me at the end of the month, and we'll see if I read them. So we have a little bit of everything, which I enjoy. A little white shoes. We have uh, Mariana Zapata's Slow Burn. Love that. Wedding Crasher, which is fun, because I've been meaning to read the second book in that series for a really fucking long time. The MC's Brazilian. Love that for me. I've been really wanting to read this, and I feel like if you hadn't put it on here, I wouldn't have had a reason to. So I like that, which is the very secret society of irregular witches. Obviously, I'm gonna read these two for my Shatter Me vlog. Worry not, I will be vlogging it. Vicious? I'm not gonna lie, that was not on my radar. Maybe I'll read it. I'm excited to read the thriller. You know what sucks? You only chose two thrillers. And I'm really in a thriller mood. And then I have a mafia romance here. And I also have two fantasy ones, which is fun. I think Vicious is fantasy too, actually. You should read it because yeah. it's going to be on every TBR until you do. It's funny that you're assuming you're going to choose every single one of my TBRs. Like, this is a one-time thing. <laughs> I'm going to choose my next TBR. I may or may not read these. We shall see. Thank you so where, where are you leaving? I thought, I thought it was the end. <laughs> I haven't said bye.
goodbye. Bye.